and welcome back to Champions Online. It is so great to be with you for another week here at Champions. Yep. So excited. Really am. We're going to get into a time of worship as always, but before we do, we're going to warm up. So I want everyone on your feet, everyone in your house. And today, what are we doing, Liga? Today, we're going to be doing a bit of tennis. Tennis. I know you guys are good at tennis. We've done it before in yep. Champions. So. Yep. So we're going to start off really easy, just doing some serves. So we're going to throw the tennis ball up in the air. We're going to make sure that we hit it before it touches the ground. So let's go. Up. Hit it. How many of you hit it? I think some of you missed that one. All right, let's go again. All right. Up. Hit it. Make sure you don't break any glasses, lights or windows in your house because Honestly. I don't think we can pay for them. No. No. All right, so the tennis ball machine is on. All right. You guys know how it goes. Okay. It's coming quite slowly, so we can just hit. Keeping a steady pace, it's all right. Oh, it's getting a bit faster oh, now. a little bit faster. Tennis ball machine's getting a bit faster. Ah, coming at my face. Make sure you don't, oh, oh, don't let it come at you. Oh my gosh, I can't. Right. Right. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right, we're going to have to turn off the machine. Turn it off. Turn the machine. Okay. Okay, all right. There's been a bit of movement. Yes. Let's try dribbling the tennis ball. Okay. And then we throw it up and all then right. hit. All right, so are you guys ready? Dribble, up, hit. Yeah. Okay, dribble, so. up, hit. Okay. All right, so we're dribbling. Dribble. We're dribbling. We throw it up and hit it. Oh, I think that one might have hit something. That one went really, Ooh. really fast. Should we do that one more time? One more time. One more time. Okay, all right. Okay. Don't aim for any glass. All right. Right, so we're dribbling, Ooh. dribbling. We throw up, up. hit it. Oh, I think we should put the tennis to rest before yeah. we break. Before we break anything else? Do any more damage. So I think now is the perfect time to go into worship. So I hope everyone is still on their feet. We're going to get to sing about making every move in Christ. Mm -hmm. I know you guys know this song. It's got some cool action. So on your feet and let's get straight into it. Yes. All right. Let's clap our hands, guys. Guys, ready? Hey! 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 
Oh yeah. Oh, I love I love the haze that we get to do in that song. So much. I fun. hope you guys were screaming and shouting. And I hope you guys haven't sat down yet because we've got one more song yep. ready for us to worship. It's a bit of a slower one, but we get to sing about God being our way maker, that he is a miracle worker. You he keeps our promises, so let's get straight into it. it We're going to worship him. I worship you. I worship, I worship you. you. You are here working in me. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, moving in the midst. Let's worship him. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. You are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you, Waymaker. You are Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. You are here. You are Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God. That is who you are. You are here, touching every heart. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, healing. You are here, healing every heart. I worship you. I worship you, turning life around. You are here, turning lives around. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, mending. You are here, mending every heart. I worship you. I worship you. Yes, Lord. Way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Way maker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. 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 You are way maker. That is who you are. 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 That Amen. is who you are, Lord God. I thank you that you are our way maker. You are our Lord. miracle worker, our promise keeper, our light in the darkness. I thank you that we get to come here again to worship you, to declare that is who you are. Lord, may we remember who you are in our lives. Mm. May you be with us in, this, in the rest of the champion service. May we have an amazing time. And everybody said... Amen. Amen. Oh, that was a great time of worship, wasn't it, Liga? It, really was. it was so good. I loved it. But, you know, as always, we don't end just here. We can't leave without playing a game, we've can got we? To. We've we got have to. to play a game. Now, I've heard that we've got a bit of a new game this week. I know, I'm quite excited. I'm very excited. Okay. Now, this game involves jelly beans. And that's why I'm very excited because <laughs> it's sweets. <laughs> it is sweets. But unfortunately, you don't, you don't get to eat them at home. So what you do have to do instead is see who can figure out what picture is hiding beneath the jelly beans the quickest. So see okay. who can get it first within your house. Okay. You ready? Got it. I'm ready. Okay. Let's see. Thank you. 
guys, I wonder how many you got right at home. Mm. We did all right. We I think we right. did okay. It was kind of hard on some of them. Yeah, it was a little bit hard. We got some of them wrong, we but I wonder, I'm sure there are some champions at home that got all of them right. Absolutely all of them. I know you guys are stars, but stars. now it's time to take a seat as we get ready for our Bible teaching. Hi everyone, my name is Emily and I'm 11 years old and I'm a High Voltage member at Jubilee Church Enfield. Since lockdown started, I've really been enjoying watching Jubilee Champions online and spending time with my family by baking cakes. I've also learned how to bake bread. I've been also enjoying spending time with my friends online playing games. I'm missing everyone at church and I'm also missing all my friends. Bye. Heroes of the Bible, Jonah. This is Jonah. Uh -huh. Jonah was a prophet. That means it was his job to tell people what God told him to say. Yep. One day, God told Jonah to go to Nineveh because the people of Nineveh were doing bad things. Uh... But instead, Jonah ran away. Where are you, please? and went to the port to board a ship. Going the other way, he was hoping to get away from God. Oh he sailed for a place called Tarshish. While he was at sea, God sent a great and powerful wind over the sea that caused a storm that seemed like it would break the ship apart. Fearing for their lives, the sailors tried everything they could think of to save the ship. <laughs> Meanwhile, Jonah was sound asleep. So the captain went down and said, how can you sleep at a time like this? Get up and pray to your God. Maybe he will help us. Then the crew figured out that Jonah was the reason for the storm. Uh, uh -oh. And they asked him, who are you? Why is this happening to us? Jonah told them who he was and that he worshiped the one true God who made the sea. Then he told the sailors to throw him in the sea so the storm would stop. No, why? The sailors still tried to escape the storm, but it was no use. Uh... So they asked God for forgiveness and threw Jonah into the sea. The storm stopped at once. Whoa! The sailors were amazed at God's power and they vowed to serve him. Now God sent a great fish to swallow Jonah. Uh, great. And Jonah was inside the fish for three days and nights. Jonah prayed to God from inside the fish, and God ordered the fish to spit Jonah out. Uh, yuck. God told Jonah again to go to the city of Nineveh to tell them what God had said about them. I get it, I get it. This time, Jonah obeyed God and went to Nineveh to deliver God's message. <coughs> the people of Nineveh stopped doing bad things and turned to God. They were saved because they listened to the message that God had given Jonah. Hi, Jubilee Champions. It's really good to see you. Wasn't that a great worship time? Uh, I'm so enjoying our worship times together. It's brilliant. And I hope you're enjoying Jubilee Champions online. Well, this week, we start our new series. It's called Breakout. And uh, we're talking all about escaping, and it's going to be really exciting. If I show you a picture, a photograph, will you promise not to laugh? Mm, I'm not sure I believe you, but I'll show you the picture anyway. You know what? If you laugh, I don't mind. So this is the picture. It was me and my family two years ago, and we were in what's called an escape room. An escape room is when you put a bunch of people together and they have to solve clues in order to escape. And you're under a time pressure as well. You've got to get out before the time runs out. Well, our new series, All About Escaping, is not escaping from a room, but we're escaping from the ordinary 
into the extraordinary. Can you say that with me? Escape from the ordinary into the extraordinary. That's it, you've got it. Well, it all starts with God's plan. God has a plan for me, God has a plan for you. And in the film, you saw God had a plan for Jonah, he just didn't always follow it. Uh, but God has a plan for you. And this is what I want you to shout out to me. God has a plan for me. Are you ready? One, two, three, go. God has a plan for me. Uh, I couldn't hear you. Can you do it a bit louder? Imagine you're in champions. I really want you to shout it now. Ready, steady, go. God has a plan for me. Excellent. With that kind of energy, we'll be breaking out of the ordinary and into the extraordinary in no time. Fabulous. Well, what about that guy, Jonah? God had a plan for Jonah and a plan for Nineveh. God said to Jonah, the Ninevites are in trouble. They are not following me. They're not listening to me. And I need you, Jonah, to go there and talk to them. But Jonah didn't follow God's plan. He went for the ordinary, boring option and he turned and ran. Oh my goodness. He fled off into the boat. And because of that, God had to send a storm to get Jonah back to where he should be. The sailors, as you saw, threw him into the sea and he got swallowed up by a big fish. In the fish, Jonah was there for three days plenty of time to think about what he'd done, to say sorry to God, and just to really get things right in his head. Did he want an ordinary life or an extraordinary life with God? Well, God forgave him, and then he caused the fish to spit Jonah out onto dry land. And then God gave him a second chance. He said, Jonah, will you go to Nineveh for me? And we know from the Bible that he did go to Nineveh. He did tell people all about God and they did change. Honestly, guys, if you've got time today, read the rest of the story because it is such a good adventure. Well, God has a plan for us, just like he had a plan for Jonah. But I've been thinking about that escape room thing. And I was thinking about a great detective called Sherlock Holmes. He used to go around with one of these and it's a magnifying glass. Every time you look through it, the stuff on the other side gets so much bigger. Well, we can be a bit like that sometimes. We, we have a plan. God has a plan for our lives, but we can't see it. We need a magnifying glass and our spiritual magnifying glass is our Bible. Every time you open up the Bible, God reveals something a little bit more about him, about what he wants you to do in your life, all sorts of things. So use your Bible every day. And when you ask God to speak to you through it, it's like the Holy Spirit magnifies each part for us. Sometimes it's just general things like, don't forget to love your parents. We all need to do that. But then sometimes it can be more specific, like God wants us to serve him in a certain way. The Bible is our clue today. You need to use the Bible to find out what God's plan is. So I want you to do something for me. If you've got your Bible, hold it up. If you haven't got it, don't worry, just pretend. Hold it up and say, God has a plan for me. Ready, steady, go. God has a plan for me. Ah, well, I hope you've got that clue, Jubilee Champions. We're going to pray now all about God's plan. Father God, I want to thank you that you have a plan for my life and a plan for every single Jubilee Champion. Lord, we're faced with so many decisions, just like Jonah, but we want to make the right decisions. We don't want an ordinary, boring life, God. We want an adventure with you. So fill us with faith, Lord, we pray, and help us to live an extraordinary life. Amen. Amen. Well, it was really nice to be with you, champions. Now is the time to click on the link and have those discussions with your family. Just imagine your family is like your small group at church. Find the questions and discuss them 
don't forget to pray about it at the end. Bye for now. That honestly was so great. I it love really, the story. It really on. was amazing to learn all about breaking out of the ordinary into the extraordinary. So I hope you guys enjoyed that today. Well, I don't think we finished here. We couldn't have possibly because we haven't done the memory verse. We version. haven't done the memory verse. And I hope you guys spent the week learning last week's memory verse with all the cool actions. And I hope you got it in your head. But just to confuse you a little bit more, we have got a completely new memory verse this week with some super cool new actions. So take us away, Liga. So today's memory verse is from Colossians chapter 1, verse 13. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the son he loves. So we're just gonna go through that again, yeah? Yep. Do you think you guys have got it? I think you have. Let's go, one more time. So, for he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the son he loves. Indeed, so I want you guys, as, we go, as you go through the week, to learn the actions, learn the memory verse, mm -hmm. see if you can remember it off the top of your head, and we're gonna come back and test you next week. Oh yeah. But, Liga, again, before we go, I have a secret. Tell me. I have a secret. I really wanna know, go on, do you, do you really wanna know? How badly do you wanna know my secret? Do you guys wanna know my secret? Uh, yeah. I, think, I think you guys wanna know my secret. So, I have a clue a really, really, really special clue that you guys need to know and need to remember. Do you want to know the clue? I really do, yeah. Come on, tell okay. us. Okay, drum roll. Number 19. What? Number 19. That's my clue, guys. Number 19. 19. That's the clue. 19. 19. What does that mean, Abigail? Well, I mean, if you want to know what 19 means, you and everyone at home are going to have to come back next week. Oh. So, guys, stay tuned. Definitely, definitely. We'll because be this tuned. clue is going to, yeah, so it's, it's got a lot in store. Right. Definitely need to come back. Come back I want to know this. Week. Yeah, I know you guys want to know too. But for now, we've got to go. So we're going to say goodbye. And we hope to see you next week. See you next week, guys. Bye.